I went to meet up with model Halima Aiden. She's walked in Kanye's fashion shows, is the face of Rihanna's makeup line, has graced the covers of fashion magazines, and has even fronted an American Eagle campaign. We're going to get a manicure today. Yes, How about princess, that? Yes. And I have so, I'm very excited because I heard you bite I your nails bite my too. Nails. So and you're do doing too. Yes! Yay! Yeah. Here's to the nail biters of America. <laughs> Woo! I caught up with Halima in New York just after a photo shoot for her sixth magazine cover this year. I mean, you must be pinching yourself, are you? Yeah, I went from exactly a year ago. I could never like flip through a magazine and like see anyone who was dressed like me to now magazine covers. It's been phenomenal, right? Yeah. Looks yeah. like you're gonna cry. <laughs> yeah. Is this emotional for you? It is because I never got to grow up and feel like represented and I never saw anybody who looked like me in high fashion. So it's pretty surreal to be that person for a lot of little girls now. I get girls from small towns in Wisconsin and all these different like little little towns that thought modeling and fashion and especially high fashion was so out of reach for them. Maybe that's because Halima is a Midwestern girl herself. She lives in St. Cloud, Minnesota. There's a theme going on <laughs> of mostly black. Like I love black. She doesn't take any of her good fortune for granted. She was born in a refugee camp after her mother fled a brutal civil war in Somalia. One day it was like this, they were all together and, you know, attack happened on the village and everybody ran whichever way, everyone scattered. But she, she headed to a, a yeah. refugee camp in Kenya. Yeah, but she didn't have family with That must her. have been so terrifying. Yeah, it's brave, you know, I can't even imagine how I would feel if I was asked to leave, you know, just up, up and go. And as our nation debates whether we should make Muslim refugees welcome, Halima has been outspoken about her own family's experience. So tell me about the journey to America. What do you remember? There was so much vetting. People don't understand like how long it really takes. It took my family since I was born, so 97 to 2005. Wow, so that's eight years. That's eight years, and a lot of the refugees never make it to a developed country. They're not as fortunate as my family to come to the United States. That's rare. After the Aidens moved to St. Cloud, Halima thrived. She became the first Muslim homecoming queen in her high school. She was a contestant in the Miss Minnesota beauty pageant when she was recruited by a modeling agency. I'm living the American dream. That's why you came here, you know, that's why we came, to live that American dream, and it's still real, it's still happening. I think it takes more time, and it's also my responsibility as a Muslim to get out of my comfort zone and get, give people the opportunity to get to know me. And you are doing all you can to change the narrative, to show a, a different kind of Muslim story. Yeah. The stories that really aren't told very much in this country. They're not, because they're not the most interesting sometimes, you know? But look at your Muslim lawyers and teachers and people in your community. It's not always like the model or, you know, but it's still incredible stories. You know, people who came to this country with nothing and were able to build their lives. Want more exclusive content from America Inside Out? Well, just click one of these videos floating next to me.